Coming up on this Linux Gamecast Weekly, Steam comes to Linux, Valve's working with Intel to speed up the performance of OpenGL, a list of Linux games on Kickstarter, and our first screenshot of Sirius Sam 3 running on Linux. Let's go. Welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers Linux gaming news every week and points out some of the cool bits. This week, we're a bit behind because I'm still working on getting audio set up with video so we can have two people on at one time. The audio is not that hard, but in usually a bi-monthly famous breakdown on Google+, Plus. I had a, another rant about how much I absolutely love Pulse Audio, which is about this much. But it's probably going to be the sound server of choice in the future, so I've just decided to learn it and love it. That said, let's get into what went on this week. Our first thing is absolutely the big thing that has brought hope back to a lot of Linux gamers, and that is Valve's announcement, Steamed Penguins. They've officially come out and said that we will be getting a native Linux Steam client by the end of this year. Now, they've also said that's just the beginning and many things are yet to come. And a lot of people are flipping out that the initial support is only going to be for Ubuntu. But I wouldn't worry about that because the second an actual Tor.gz or a Debian file gets out there within a few hours, it'll be running on everything else. It just might not be officially supported. And also connected with the Steam bit is they are working with Intel to improve the OpenGL performance for the Intel chipset. And that's awesome because I know a lot of people with laptops using the integrated Intel chipset. And I also hope they're going to be working with the ATI project and Nuovo project, which is the open source NVIDIA graphics guys. And here's another neat bit. I mean, I'm really excited when I saw this. This is Sirius Sam 3. First screenshot of a development build, yet again, running on Ubuntu. And this is absolutely awesome. There's not a lot of games using Crow, Te Crow Teams, a custom-built engine, but I think that just with Steam coming, a lot of developers have went, oh, expletive deleted. We better start getting ready for Linux, and this makes me happy. I haven't been this happy since Loki Games started around 2001, and I thought then we would finally see games on Linux and genuinely have that same feeling right now. Awesome. And next to the last bit, Kickstarter games on Linux. Now... This is an Ubuntu wiki, but you can see everything that's going on, how much they need, and when the drive ends. There's a bunch of fun games on here. I do wish they would set it up to where you could see whether or not they initially support Linux, or they dangle the Linux carrot due to, if they get $200,000, they'll put in Linux support, because I don't back Kickstarters that do that. Start with Linux support, and there's a good chance I'll donate a few dollars, and a lot more people will do that. I don't, you know, like going for a long term drive to get Linux support. Let's do that out of the box, but that's an absolutely cool list, and it's well worth looking over. And this last bit is something I put together last night. It is how to set up Slender, Slender game, using Play on Linux, which is a front end of Wine. 
And somebody pointed me to this game, and it's a bit like the Penumbra series, or more recently, Amnesia, where you have no weapons, and there's the giant boogeyman behind you. In this case, he's behind trees, the Slender Man. Fun game. Definitely give this a look if you're looking to set it up. Free download, and it takes about three minutes to install. And that's it for our third test episode of Linux Gamecast Weekly. Still a bit rusty at this, but I'm hammering out audio and how I'm handling the screen. It's getting better and better week by week. Hopefully in the next two weeks we'll have our first episode with a real co-host on, and that's going to be awesome. Until then, check us out at linuxgamecast.com, YouTube, forward slash linuxgamecast, or you can find me on Google+, Vin Stone. Cheers. <laughs>